I should put a stream link somewhere. Sure, thanks. I mean, I'm not going too hard to shell on this, mostly because I put like about two seconds of effort into this. <laughs> <laughs> sick yeah i'll put i'll just drop it in general <laughs> all right go for it nice <laughs> yeah all right let's see i think we'll probably do let's do top four all on stream and just see how it goes Mm, maybe maybe first to three for top four up i feel like if we do first to th i was originally thinking with few people we should do first to three whole bracket but this is probably too big for that this could take forever <laughs> yeah right i mean true but it was like five people earlier <laughs> <laughs> if it was five people, I would have let it rock. You know what I'm saying? Five people, it's like that's that's enough games. Sick. Cool. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, current games, current games be doing, what's it called? Top three, or first to three for like all top eight or top 24 or something. It's mess up. Yeah. True. All right, let me see. What are we going to do? Until... I'm going to run out of matches if Losers just runs into Losers semis. You know what? We'll figure it out. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Nice. Let's see. Actually, we'll do that. No, oh, never mind. Oh, shoot. There we go. My bad. I forgot to turn on the Discord audio. Why is this not working? Hold on a second. Let me see. There might be a problem. Yeah, let me see if this is working. All right. How are you all doing? Is it working now? It might be working now. I think we're good. Web should hopefully be audible. Web, are you able to say something? I, I'm i trying to say something. Psych. Am I saying something? Okay. Psych is saying I can be heard now. Hopefully my mic doesn't sound like shit. Nice. Because my PC loves swapping my mic to my webcam mic instead of my good mic. Yep, let's see. Okay, all my settings allege that it is my good mic. That's good.
Okay, I believe we've got Roadkill, Rambo, and Teedbub first. Yes, okay. Hopefully. Teedbub is. Ah. Let's see if Teedbub is here. Oh, Teedbub. I think, I think I think I should have waited until I I connected first. My I'm just, I'm literally dumb. Happens. Yeah. Okay, I believe where, this is going to be. Where was this first? Where was this posted? F he may CCL. Yeah. Okay. Uh, CCL does have some tools to punish guys around block with. Mainly just 236C, which is still useful, though. I'm not certain if it's a guaranteed punish on flight cancel or not, or if he may can shield that last minute. I am uh, not sure. I don't know that much about fighting Hime, actually. I just know what Gaizu does. <laughs> yeah. Well, CCL, when she has meter, does have good tools to punish, like, spaced minus moves due to 236C covering the entire screen. 623C also going very far in very little time. Uh, she still has some issues in the reward dynamic as well as neutral if she doesn't have meter. Interesting. Teedbub also did not check in. I didn't really enforce check-ins. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just hoping people are around. So we uh -huh. shall see if Teedbub ends up not being around, we can pull another match for stream. Because I know Foopy and Red are both here. See, I'll just add Teedbub in blue cord. Bracket cool. has started, and you are called for stream. Hopefully, they are here. Otherwise, my half-assed matchup analysis would have all been for nothing. <laughs> okay it's all red good. this is like poopy. a last second this is like a last second bracket i've like only started posting a link randomly in FG lfgna for like the last week or so and like a very on and off time since i've been available to actually look at the chat <laughs> uh -huh. so this is incredibly thrown together kind of coming out of nowhere here with this one it happens. My first few brackets were roughly like this. I didn't even get a full top eight until my third or fourth okay. tournament. That's crazy, just seeing how far things have come now. It's really yeah, amazing. Yeah, then once I hit, like, the eighth or ninth, I was like, oh shit, that's like a top 24 or some shit. And now when I get brackets with, like, a slightly lower turnout, like 16, I'm like, man... <laughs> Three years ago already, I was breaking the 30s. I'm such a fucking failure now. <laughs> I mean, it's really Fuck the state fast of that play, right? <laughs> Anyway, Red versus Foopy. I wonder if Red's gonna play his main, F. Wara. A character is... We shall see. Honestly, all Waras are pretty fucking hard for Koma. Are they? Particularly Seacoma to navigate. Because Seacoma, he doesn't have any, like, exceptionally strong buttons to contest Wara with. Interesting. <clears throat> he doesn't have any reliable anti-tiers. He can sometimes preempt with stuff like 2-2-A. But he does end up having to rely on dash unders. Which are kind of hard against Waro with how globally it's in the air and how strong his buttons are. Or on shield, which is always kind of risky. The one thing Koma does have going for him, though, is his damage. To melt through Walker's health. Makes sense, yeah. I mean, as an h player, my first instinct is just thinking, like, well, you're able to hit FWAR on the hover dash. And FWAR is the one that I've seen right play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got the water with the most zoning tools, which Seacoma does have like, some options to navigate through, but they're all either a little committal or not particularly fast. 
and often do just lose to waiting a bit in reactive play. Right. So he still has enough tools to like really check you if you're getting greedy and put on the hurt if you're caught being that. He also has also have high health and a plethora of defensive options, which helps a little bit against Wara's own offense. Wara's fucking vortex. I'm synced, so I'm ready to start whenever you are. Cool. Yeah, I just need apparently the net play brackets function differently. <laughs> So, Are you yeah. making start.gg troubles? I, I am. I've only actually used this website uh -oh. offline before. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> God, this site sucks my fucking balls. It really I've does. Been trying to use it a bit for the red court brackets, and it is such a pain in my ass. Yeah. Like, why do I have to jump through like five different hoops to do one simple edit on the page in front of me? Christ. For real. Do you know where the start bracket button is? I have no idea. Incredible. I'm sorry. Incredible. Is there maybe a settings button where I can start the bracket? There's like five settings buttons. There, there change. seriously are. It's, it's actually crazy. Oh, do I have to go specifically to reporting? There's the problem. All right, there we go. Yeah, shout out Web, by the way, LG tournament runner for this game. Trying to get things going a little bit over here. Also, thank you, Web, for helping me see the frosty bracket. Um, very much appreciated. My pleasure. It's been a while since I've gotten to order lines of text. Okay, we got red on the Cishion side project. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I know most people that have talked about this matchup think it's relatively even. Both are fairly explosive. Oh, yeah, the way I kind of see it is like they're both characters with buffs. normal tools, right? Kind of. Like they're just characters who have pretty well rounded kits overall. Okay, that 2 and 4 and Ice didn't actually catch it from its back bash. I guess it wasn't active enough. Okay, a lot of air movement that is really culminating in much. Oh, watch your feet, same side. Got drops though. Forget if this character's combos are any harder on Koma, though. They probably shouldn't be doing the hard, hard combos in the first place. Just start this character. Throw it. Yep. Oh no, the net play unblockable. Finds another victim. Oh, we tried chasing the air tech back, but we're a little slow to press whatever we wanted to press there. And you can air tech that. A lot more dangerous if you ground tech it. Got her hit though. Red not blocking and Foopy just emitting most of the normals and specials from his B and B, doing like half the damage he could have. Interesting decision to go for heat there when you're up around and you're down a decent amount of life. Maybe he just believes in himself, he did. He really might, I mean, almost oh, almost had the combo! Gailed a lot of advantage in the previous round, and now the life count is pretty even. It's pretty good. You might also think he can exploit some of Foopy's unfamiliarities with the system mechanics still, like him not known to air tech in a lot of scenarios. Oh my god. Oh. He also could have cancelled that in the in response to Super Flash. Unfortunate. I did not realize that you could whiff cancel in response to Super Flash, but that makes sense though. Yeah, the only one you can is F, which also has to jump all post flash. Yeah, but if you have an in bowl mover, just one that sends you airborne, and you were caught in an A normal, 
against the HMC version, you can just cancel it in most cases. Interesting thing to do with uh... Yeah. Ah, that could have been so much damage. Oh, second place on this one. Yeah, we've also not this monkey fucking <laughs> air tech forward into 5A and got I mean, pressure off it. Red wasn't ready for it though, right? Sometimes you gotta represent him until they check until they check I guess so. Now. I'm not sure why Red wasn't ready for it, but he didn't do anything to chase neutral and back tech. He just stood there, which is what you do to punish yeah. forward tech. <laughs> I mean, I feel like, you know, like we were saying before, like, Red... I, I didn't even know Red had been playing this character, but... Red on the board with the first one, and maybe there was a little bit of back and forth there of... Like, not expecting Red to be ready for the tech trap, and Red actually not being ready for that. Who knows why Red's yeah. playing this character right now. Maybe he just wants to get rush more damage and defensive options than Wario, so it's like, I'm gonna play Wario's daughter instead. Of it. Scooby has been getting pretty close to uh, that could have been a tech punish. Is she Wario's daughter? Canonically? Is she, is she kinda brand brand-ish daughter. Daughter, granddaughter. I did not realize, I just knew that Wario's daughter. That's not gonna kill. Please, air tech! <laughs> Poopy has been pretty close to closing out a lot of these turns, but his relatively low damage confirms and needlessly giving Red more reward than he should be off of a lot of his hits by not teching has kind of been having him fall behind a lot. Not Red, you gotta just mash out of tech. I do persevere is punishing them. Just take your turn back. Or throw. I like the late tech out there. Okay, this is still not quite gonna kill, but it's gonna come close. Wait, no, I think if he just did his air combo into meter dump, he would have killed. Yeah, I think 2 1 4 Ciander probably would have killed. Yeah, jump 2 3 6 Ciander. Oh, 2 3 Actually, 6 Ciander, is that a better meter? Is that a better yeah, damage? Yeah, but if you do jump 2 3 6 C for damage, that might have caught landing recovery. That might have been real. I'm not certain. Uh, and then jump to a 4 C gives you a better knockdown. Flying to meaty with your B-normals. Hot out of dash. Boobie's just not holding back on hit, and the net play unblockable strikes again. I'm not gonna lie, that hits me offline, dude. Oh, I never said it was easy to block otherwise. That's just a pain in the ass. That's the, I'm so good at conditioning bros over <laughs> Yo, the air dodge! Oopie, you had burst! Unfortunate. Going red taking it 2-0. And Red going up 2-0. First set of the day, and I believe we'll be getting True and Nick next. Alright. Let's see. True. Both of these players will actually be at Frosty 2 and Foopy, who we saw earlier, will also be in that bracket. Yeah. This will... Oh, Red's gonna be at Frosty as well? What's up? Red's gonna be at Frosty too? Red? I don't think so. But True oh, and you're Nick will the... both be there. Oh, those... I thought you were talking about the people we just saw. Oh, okay. no. Yeah, also also Foopy, yeah. Chase, who should also be playing right now, is also going to be there there's a good amount of players in this bracket who will be at frosty thanks again web for seeding the bracket with the experience of knowing how strong players are this bracket has like a hundred people in it it's actually ridiculous it was pretty hard to see there's a lot of spots <laughs> where it's like all these people could play so for each other because of how many players signed up. How for many competitive real. players signed up, no less. For and a lot real. of players that you ha haven't really gotten the chance to see play each other otherwise. Like, there's a lot of people that are mostly just net players, and then, like, a lot of the Midwest locals people that haven't really intersected much. So it'll be really interesting to see how accurate my seating ends up even being. True, yeah. I mean, even when, when I was just looking at the bracket, 
um to start just like putting the names in there and vaguely moving people to start the seeding process just like there were so many matches that could have gone either way right like they're it, looking at the top eight seeds it's like this might not even be top eight like there's a high likelihood top eight seeds are not going to be top eight no matter who they are just such a yeah. high density of strong players and yeah a lot of people it's going to be like their first major right like true who we're about to see on here in a second um is uh, also... I describe it much more as a top 12 that's in top 8 True. in terms of the retro strings. Yeah, definitely. Like, there's a solid 3 to 4, 2 to 3 to 4 people that are like, this person I really should put in top 8, but I can't justify moving anyone that's already in top 8 down either. So I really just have to do a little bit of guesswork as to, like, what's the player match of RPS here and who, like, hasn't played in a bit that I can, like, halfway justify seating slightly lower than the other right. yeah it's definitely definitely a tough thing to see especially when there's people who haven't played offline before right and it's hard to weigh like those extra variables of will this person be able to play the same when they're playing offline or in the mm -hmm. environment of having people around them you know just all different things that come out. for sure i'm seated i'm not seated synced uh, Oh, you I'm did? not a. Yeah, I'm synced myself. I don't know who True is. True I assume they is know there. Nick. Yeah, they're assume... they're Nick's friend. Oh my gosh, I I have not been streaming this at all. Thank you for also. I just I've just been me. connecting myself each time. No, thank you for also doing that. I can if it helps. I can also just stream the call and they should be good to go. It's fine as is for now. Cool. Okay, Nick's on her pocket C Koha. A pocket C Koha. I know she was actually warming us up specifically hoping to play it against some of the worst matchups. I don't know if she's realistically going to actually play this in the bracket. But I know there's some matchups that she's mentioned that are quite hard for white line. Yeah, maybe she's using this as a trial here to see how finished her C Koha is for bigger brackets. Right. I mean again, like we were I, talking about the strength of that uh, frosty uh, bracket, right? You might you might need a character like this for some of the tough ones in a bracket that competitive. Yeah, or just to throw them off if they're like really studying how you play on your main. True, yeah. Sometimes it's good to just keep the opponent guessing. Yeah, I mean, especially when it's now a game that's been out for so long and a lot of these players have so much experience against each other, right? Like, Nick and Skeleton have fought a lot and they're both going to be in that bracket. Just, like, players who might have seen you enough times to have kind of a read on your main characters. Yeah, it's still a little hard to find exactly what the quality of a lot of matchups in this game are just because there's still not that much data and a lot of personal experiences are still very based off of player matchup more than anything because you often only have one or two representatives per character right yeah and there's so many variables for this game that's kind of hard to determine like how much of this is directly matched and how much is this of this just how this person likes to play the character yep and there's also situations like that cross up which like <laughs> I know when I've fought Nick Sikoha before, there's been times she's told me she doesn't even know which side she's gonna end up on. <laughs> Gotta take some craziness like that into account too. True with the wake up. Okay, we'll link to no avail. Okay, what's the Oki? Doesn't TK it, but Nick just gets hit on wake up. Don't tech burst in this game. You'll get punished in the majority of cases. We're going back to CSS. Is True gonna swap characters? Nope. nope. Nick oh, trying your swapping H moves. Okay. okay. So for some context, Nick helped teach True how to play this game. So she might just be having a little bit of fun just showing her student what's up with this Kohaku champion. It's hard to say, but Nick's got combos. H Kofa real. Oh, tries to get wing and, and he jumps into low, gets smashed for it though. Awkward corner True. interaction there. Not looking too ready to confirm all of these hits, however. Oh, oh it's green combo. Nope, goes for the easier route. Still misses the air throw though. Okay, we're not teching now. Probably didn't mean to super double jump into the corner there. Didn't call by Lamar. Okay, 
It does use a lot of air movement to get into that middle space. Probably could have just done a super double jump forward and avoided the charge 2, 3, 6A entirely. In any Perhaps. case, though, Nick is on match point. Uh, honestly, I think I think she's doing this extra movement on the Molotovs on purpose just to be a little bit tricky for fun. Maybe. I'm not Definitely sure knows like that they can throw air throw the Molotovs, which is how you answer them. Yeah, it's definitely an important thing to know fighting them too. Can't let really just be getting away with Oh god, there. what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> You're in the other corner now, because this game stages are the size of a fucking bathroom. <laughs> oh god, I forgot that. That's Lord, LT. Gotta think of a different analogy there. Hallway. A closet. Closet, <laughs> yeah. And there it is, Nick Fast 2 -0. And next, I think I should have called the next one ahead of time. Chase and Roadkill will be next. Let's see. Chase on the FSOTs and Roadkill Rambo CCL, whom we did not get to see earlier. Okay. I know Roadkill Rainbow is a fairly air throw heavy CCL. I wonder if they'll be ready for Chase off and opting for a more grounded play style. Yeah, Chase. Chase has also just been playing a lot too. It's been getting really good. Been really exciting player to watch recently. We had the uh, exhibition a week ago between Chase and Cop Killer for fun, which went to game 18 in a first to 10. It was 10-8. Chase unfortunately lost, but got to represent a lot of really interesting play against the crazy Armante CCL. <laughs> but also mm -hmm. having fought Armante a lot is definitely someone who's very experienced in this specific matchup. Roadkill yep. Rambo, very different CCL than Armante, because quite frankly, nobody plays the same as Cop Killer for fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it'll be interesting to see what's up with that. And let's, let's see, see if we can get CL. Does have uh, 2 c to deal with some of Satsuki's Oki due to not being safe jumpable in most situations, though. As soon as I said that, I remember we're, we're talking about an F boom here, which can still safe jump it sometimes. But it's still useful to opt out of some left right stuff, though it is relatively blind spottable, and obviously, if it doesn't hit, you're still gonna die. But it's better than most DPs for the Satsuki matchup. True, sorry, looking at something real quick. I'm just trying to make sure the rest of the bracket gets going. It looks like Teedbub is here now. Hello, Teedbub. You are now here. Hello, Did they hello. get DQ'd to losers yet, or are they still in the winner's side of the bracket? No, they they are down in losers, and that is why we are getting Chase Roadkill, unfortunately. I, I would love to have seen that, but I don't want to be partial in shooting people from winner's side, especially with like a thrown-together bracket like this, just trying to make sure the bracket still gets moving, you know? That's understandable. I have no complaints, because the faster the bracket goes, the sooner it can, like drink something because i did not get water before sitting down not to say i'm not used to that but i'm still not going to complain about a briskly paced bracket <laughs> true yeah but also like 
I feel like you always want to give a little bit of time after you shoot some from losers from winners. You give them a little bit more time before you like fully eliminate them. You know what I'm saying? Like, feels worse to like make someone. If it feels a little bit worse to make someone just have to get shout out a bracket for being late. So always. It depends sure on how I'm feeling. <laughs> Usually, I'll give them like sure. one match, streamed match worth of time to show up again. But sometimes I'm just not in the mood. I'm like, okay. You didn't read the fucking time or description. <laughs> Fuck you. Be gone. True. And I mean, I, honestly, it makes sense because I feel like it's a lot easier to just make those decisions on that play. I'm, I'm kind of new to the net play bracket thing. I've mostly run offline brackets. I major some locals. I'm like, you can kind of just look around the room and be like, all right, this person's not showing up because either they're physically in the room or they're not, you know? Yeah. Versus on uh, that play, it's like, you just got to draw that line sometimes. Yeah, running that play brackets will make you meaner after a while. Because <laughs> you just have to deal with the most unreliable, illiterate fucking people ever fucking put on the planet. Yeah. Like, sometimes I'm in a good mood, and I have a lot of free time before starting the stream, and I'll search out a few people that aren't in the server yet and be like, hey, here's the bracket link to the tournament you signed up for but sometimes i'm tired i don't really want to run and i'm just like you didn't read the bracket description fuck you be gone never join my events ever again <laughs> it's not my responsibility to ensure you do the bare minimum of entering the server for the bracket you joined. Like, what, did you think it was going to run on Twitter where you saw the announcement? Anyway, we have a match now. We do, and it is, they're getting started. Uh, for a moment, I thought I was seeing something sped up just by how fast Sots is moving. I got Migs. Okay, let me push to the other corner now. Small stage. Let's go. Hit, hit by the low right after him. I might have been expecting a double overhead from how high that jump C1 is. Barely misses a chance to deal with the recovery. That, 236, that was 236. Yeah, I believe that's plus 4. Good gap reversal, though. One of the things that makes CL doesn't shield that into a punish. One of the things that makes CL a little annoying to pressure when she has meters, her plethora of defensive options. Oh, so many reversals. It was really interesting though, in that exhibition, we saw Chase play around them really well, but Roadkill Rambo definitely just like an entirely different player. No use of all the tools in general. Rambo winning the Rhyme Start Scramble. They might have both tried pressing an A normal, which are the same speed on these characters, if I remember correctly, but game has no buffer for non-command normals. Yep. And it's Chase like... has been really slow to a lot of these minus smashes from Rambo, either whiffing a move, Kate is still mashing afterwards, landing while Chase hasn't committed to anything and still mashing after. Yeah, it's Chase looking a little out of it, but they got their gaslit low now. It could also be just like taking a second to adjust the player. I know Amante likes to shield on those minus frames a lot. Just trying to massage out the Monte PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. We've got another game. Okay, almost gets punched, but not quite. Five feet, no confirm though. Even Chase, they're talking about to be like, shit, I didn't confirm. Unfortunately, Roadkill gets the corner now. Nice jump out. Avoiding the flip. And that's a cop killer to enforce C. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. And the flip! He's invoking him. Yeah. I feel like now it's a reverse adjustment where you realize go. you're not fighting Armante, but then the Demon Flip still comes out. So okay, we have character has. Meter for IH. IH, please. Or do we just want to go all in the offensive? Sansu can yep. do that better than nearly any other character. I'm just going for it. Yeah, just going all in. Just There's space life. in the corner. Or just to... heat. Still, one combo can take this anyway. Yep. No more meter. I wonder if that was trying to get a last yep, second under. reversal out. <laughs> Big counter hit, no conversion though. Ah, uh, man, too many frames for that 2 3 6. 
Unfortunate. Rainbow on match point. Now we win the buffer cut war. Nice. Into the corner. <laughs> Never mind. Why would I say into the corner? You're playing Satsuki. Just going and there we come to two. be hard coded with crouches. So you're really hoping that they're doing something standing. Otherwise, you are dead as shit. Goes for the faint. This is death. Yep. Hey, staying alive with those seven golden letters. <laughs> Queen perfect, Chase trying to run it back here. Have Sots hey, pressure. A little bit too high though. That hitbox is deceitfully large. Never ready for it to hit as high as it does. Oh! Yeah, great answer, just going for the easy halo reversal. This is a max. Oh, that Just bursting out! That was like a sea Satsuki as some. That was two, a two two. Would have worked as a sea Satsuki possibly. The air throw. This is gonna be one more touch. My bunker works though. She's okay, no ID over to mash for you this time. You are not at moon. <laughs> okay. F this the corner, but. Road kill Rambo walked in the corner so there wasn't any more. Wait, we're still alive? Just gets tagged on landing and Roadkill takes it 2 0. -oh. Chase. Fence is on, and I believe we will be getting Nick and Red next. Yep, I believe this is top 8 already. It is. I mean, it was like a eight-person bracket, nine-person bracket or something. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm saying <laughs> actually already made perfect sense there, because that means we are, like, quickly in top eight. Uh, yep, we're, okay. well, the bracket is basically top eight. Wait, no, we... Oh, ten, pe ten person eight. bracket? Ten person we bracket? Were, we were in top eight already. We're not... Yes. It's not we are in top eight already. Right. That was right. already top eight. We just the first it. round, the first round that was on stream was top eight. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Okay. Nick versus Red. Nick versus Red, and I believe we have on the other side. We will I wonder be if Red's going to stick to his C. Shion or go to his main with F. Wara. I also wonder who Nick will play because. In terms of a main to main interaction, I believe both these people do think that FR is pretty good against C. White Len, but both of them have not presented their mains yet. True. So maybe this is just going to be some pocket frauding between the two, pocket. or they're braving the matchup. Nope. We Red is like, I want a meterless DP and damage and a worse match against C. White Len. I wonder who Nick will play, though. I'm safe. I am still syncing up. It is just coming up. I'm a little bit slow on these. My apologies. I believe we will also get freaking Chase back on after this. Looks like red red still hovering the CC on. Are we going to still see the CC on? I believe so. I believe I'm good. Alright, I'm good to go as well. Kohaku, Kohaku, Kohaku. Are you seeing the Kohaku? RPS for stage select. <laughs> okay. Got my sushi on. Bit more damage on both sides from these characters compared to their mains. From what we've seen so far, Nick does have slightly more combos. 
the red does both have been a little fairly drop heavy so far, but these characters are a little harder than average in terms of combo game. And if you like really want to do nerd shit, they have really hard stuff too. to get in there because in the bracket shot they were flipping a coin for <laughs> stage select. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> I respect it. Yeah, Red said RPS for stage select and posted a rock and they, they were trying to figure it out. <laughs> wait, wait, who won the RPS then? Mick just gave it to Red time. over time. <laughs> okay. So Mick is winning this rock. I've got red with that too. Wait, there wasn't much mix there anymore. Maybe just was trying to get the pussy DP. Could have been. Uh, maybe even yes. just in a, a real DP attempt that messed up. Hitting wake up DPs is so hard. That's the timing again. And red just getting hit again. Nick hitting those timings does not surprise me though, especially with the kind of links you see ahead on white line. Yep. Okay, can this one? Oh, not quite. Okay, that was his tech is... Invalid, but... Right? Nope. Nope. And now if you get another hit, you won't be able to finish the combo before it dies. Better give him a chance to beat, so you get a chance to finish your combo. We're flying around. But it's also right at max, and throw that! Hey, yep. alright, we know! But you're not ready for the combo hype there. How many blues we can put in? 4-5-C whiffs. Necessary burst, you were definitely gonna die otherwise. And... A very risky 2-C gets punished. As expected. That's... Plus. We all know that's plus. Kind of expected heat, gets a lot of health back, and I assume that jumpy wasn't meant to be at that distance. Just going for the heat while left the full one, screen. One proper hit can still kill. Yeah, that, that should be it. Prop. And Nick taking the first one. Nick just gets the Hawker 2C. The Hawker 2C is a jump scare button. I feel like I have to mentally cut myself if I don't have Okay, we're out. What pressure do we have in turn? Not much. Oh, that could have been a big hit if she confirmed it into 5B or any move or really this character shits damage in general. The unblockable has been blocked, you love to see it. And we are giving a free knockdown out of that for no reason. Other side, as shown before. She really is- she's just using this as fucking timing practice off the command grab, I think. Nick on match point. Um, he's got the guard break there, I think. Wasn't ready for it though. Drops the air throw again, Hovers goes for the longer, more to the middle on the Molotovs, but that just doesn't punish. It looked like Red was kind of looking for the space to air throw and couldn't get it. It looked like even he was thrown off weight. Like, why are you doing the super <laughs> long one? I could kill you so easily for this. <laughs> a random mix up solution. Cactus? Now we all mix up. Thank you, love. I love watching Gohaku just like chill there while a cactus beats you down. Yep. Pretty seeable same side, kinda messes up the timing there. One more mix can take this though. Bro. Ooh, nice air throw. Do we have a combo? Not this time either. No. And Nick gets it off of that drop.
Yeah, Red's uh, confirms he had a bit of work. Nick is yeah. going to find herself in winner's finals, though. Facing off with Roadkill Rambo. Right, but before that, we will be on the loser's side of bracket. Getting, I believe, Ruby and Chase. Let me double check that. rest of the bracket will just be streamed at this point because if we ran the other one we've been waiting anyways so might as well only got a few sets left mm -hmm. so right, we're chase racing, yep, chasing foopy Chase is pretty experienced in this match. They fought Skeleton a lot. They've even done fairly well against Skeleton Seacomb in some recent brackets too. Have they? Interesting. Were they they were um they were finals the last Fuckfest, right? E yes, if I remember correctly, they were. In one of the other Netplay Black brackets recently run by Not Me, I forgot who ran it. They did beat Skeleton C Coma in winners finals. Whoa. Uh three to two. <laughs> Powerful. Chase is good on the grind, I see. Awesome I don't know. Yep. Okay. Regular hoster. Seeing the caster name too, Frosty finalist, channeling the good energy, heading for a crazy weekend coming up. Yep. It's crazy that tournament is a week away. That's fucked up. For real. And with both these players, they need to fix their names. Stop. Yep. Oh, they are already in. Okay. They are all going. Alright. That's the mix. It's done for the two and four C ones. Goes for a safe jump though. Maybe that is the plan. Now we're going for six two three C. Fairly throw. safe hide, but I think these have just been to obscure throws or maintain safe jumps. Maybe. The choice of throw there was a little bit odd. Big oh. life lead. It tries going for a low profile answer, but it's pretty hard against Sansky Jump C, especially from the front. Probably wanted to stand under for that. Okay, Foopy is getting most of the B and B now, but Chase is like, you're not gonna stop this. Yep. Got her death range. Defensive options. Chase with the JC tag. Foopy with the ground tech on that. Gets the hit a oh, little good. bit high Nashed again. Under, and even Foopy seemed unprepared for 2C to still reach there. Your tech throw? Nope. Pushes himself out. Chase with that brave one. Land 2C. Satsuki time. Overhead no conversion. Tries fading first, but Foopy never bursts. I'm not sure if he remembers he can do it. I'm not sure either. Foopy did used to play Lumino, so maybe it's not a, a mechanic they're accustomed to. His burst does not exist in that game. Oh, a neutral he could have still killed there. No confirm off 2 and 4B. But well, we do confirm off that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, funny pickup to take game 1. Just decided the original hit wasn't a satisfying kill point. They were like, I, I learned nothing from this. I can confirm that with my eyes closed. It's on stream, you gotta play it up a little bit. Right? Yeah. Gotta put on a show. Show people why this game is sick. Good man, from Foopy though. Landing in time, 5B does not have the frames there. Off the back dash, but can convert. Tries hard reading the jump, but Poopy not falling for it. The hitbox shuffle throws me off every time. 5A in tear. Officer, pretty low damage pickup though. 
Fortune. Took out the 2C. And technically, Whiff punishes that with 2 2C. Okay. That's death. Yep. I feel like that super attempt we saw was probably 6 2 3 that went awry. But who knows? Foopy up around trying to make a comeback. Chase just hopping around. Punish both just once. That hit to start their game plan. And just catches Foopy on wake up. Not sure what's happening there. I wonder if we start to press something after landing there. He could have blocked the fight B. Maybe. I but the air hard. shield! Lost some time. Okay, what's the mix? Just going that for does a little bit more damage. Air shield push Foopy into the corner, but maybe it's just a chance to work on pressure. You're not using Koba's B and C normals to match that player. Too slow. Especially against Satsuki's fucking moves. <laughs> Satsuki, who has a five frame to see? Might be a little bit good. Gets the back dash this time. Couple more stray hits. What a gap to enforce it. And we're possibly trying to time something on wake up to no avail. But there it is. The trade there will be enough. It feels like he doesn't have that much invul, so it can be pro trading with a lot of stuff. As shown there. I like how it still comes out as a perfect, even though we're visually seeing the trade. Yep. Fucked up. 1 1. Okay, nice good wait way. there. Unfortunate Just drop, though. Not landing recovery, not extending any green into Koma's jump seat before then. 6 2 3 ant here, though. Oh, that's a big whiff. I be starter. Koma's got high health, though. Maybe a drop. Yes, two issues. Just waiting, but. I'll step up in a little too preemptively again. Okay. Still leaving out moves and why are you doing backdash? You're the one with max, so you can assert yourself. <laughs> Coma in max mode, you can just send it sometimes. No confirm, Chase still alive. That could have been a ballsy comeback maneuver if that was confirmed. Good IH. There, there's a confirm. Okay. This is dead. If we wait, never mind. More mix. Just heats out though. Catch this catch. Just tech out. Poopy, the never tech lord. But it's working out so far. A little bit of armor. Chase just playing defensively. Oh, you're no longer able to win oh. on timeout. You need a hit. Just barely misses it. Tragic. Boopy on match this point. Hair, okay. She just tries to keep that in a little touch. Could have whipped some time to throw. Not ready for the air hit. Jumps and just over the Boopy. vacuum hands. I'm, a, I'm amazed. <laughs> Gets hit. Hey, Poopy just not blocking, might have been afraid of the bite. Actually, I'm not even sure if Chase had meter for bite there. He was just afraid of the worst normal throw in the game. <laughs> or maybe he did not realize the lack of meter for reversal. Unfortunate drop again. Early misses a punish there, I think. Or afraid for grave. Similar ish meter. Not really worth commenting on, so. 60% meter difference. Labels. A very ballsy charge to no avail. And for an interesting pick throw point, but it's just out of range. I actually kind of like the aggressive chase there with the armor, but he didn't believe in it hard enough. Still, finding ways to whip the interactions right after, and the slight weight staggers chase. Oh. And I guess that's it. Yep, Foopy moving into top four. Going two one over Chase. Some unfortunate drops there. 
unfortunately it happens on that play and I believe we will be getting Teed Bub and Red next. Teed Bub Redemption. And perhaps Red Redemption. Teed Bub Afhime, which was briefly mentioned <laughs> by Webb earlier. Against the Red. I wonder if Red will stick with the CC on for this. Maybe Red is really just going in on the CC on. Maybe, or maybe they're swapping to the main now that they're losers. Only one way to find out. True, and we shall see soon. The C Shion is an interesting character, though. Not, not a character that's played all that much, either. And Teed Bub, I've seen Teed Bub talk a lot about how nice it's been having switched from F Nekomek to F Hime, going from bottom to top tier. Definitely feels good. I've I've been doing the same thing in some other games I've been playing, and like as soon as you go and start playing a character that's actually good, that power is infectious. <laughs> Just having strong moves. And whenever they are in character select, I'm not sure if we are waiting on red or something. Oh, they are in there. All right. I'm hovering the Hime already. I read his rolling around character slide. Of all the Hime's too, I think F feels like the one that you see the least of today in terms of people actually playing the character actively. I've, I know I've seen Mavi H Hime, Smaller Sigma, Bakura H Hime. I think I've really seen a lot of people stick with that human for a long time. It's cool to see people playing this character. Down low. Fight. He made in the air to start? Just gets the DP. He's the anchor. Okay, up his side. Just the 2B might have just wanted to not get that stand shield. Okay. This character, a lot of this character's left rights don't really work in Steam due to her collision box, not shrinking when she's knocked down. No, bro, I'm just making FDA look like a fast character right now. I mean, on the ground she is. <laughs> It's true. The walk speed, but I mean, just mixing in those IADs and stuff. And another shield counter. Okay, are we gonna do the K combo? Yep. Yep. All your meter is now a memory. What's the mix on this side? Red crouching, too. I'm not blocking I'm not blocking against this fucking character, personally. <laughs> Deep and trade? Deep and trade? Wow. And still technically doesn't finish the combo. Never mind, it's not technically just straight up didn't. <laughs> Invalid into drop. We love to see it. Do we have the snow? Not quite. Tech in up! Tech in and might have missed it for the DP. Amazing. I just really believed in the tech in the 2A. And jumps to be not hitting in time. I would have considered just DPing afterwards, like, fuck it. Looks like Red was waiting for the DP there, but the fuzzy. Fima's got that too. 
True, that fuzzy was so fast. You're I, I still have not fixed score. I've been so slow with this. There we go. The non DP lesson is just conditioning, but we need to be back to ADP too. Which can lead to some better reward if you to single hitting in a lot of situations. Could have punished that geyser with some for A. This geyser is minus 17. Yeah, X geysers are minus 17, but can flight cancel them to make them safer. Wasn't ready for the X shield to actually hit. Okay. That's the full combo this time. And. Goodbye, meter. Again. Oh, Never mind. Did you go for it anyways? Nope. And we're just gonna press neutral as mine with the last bit of our meter. And it always was your Hime. Really, really late to dash in after blocking the guy. They say he must process it. And not confirming, resulting in Tebub just mashing DP to reduce, and we're not teching. Um, counter hit by C, which is unlikely to counter hit anyway because it's multi hit. Okay, what's the mix? Same side. Counter hit. I'm surprised we haven't seen him come to shield these mixes. Getting another 80 off. Okay. That's death. Well, punish. Touch, and that's it. Might have been able to 5C punch instead, which could have led to more. In any case, though, T-Bub moves on to winner's semis to face off with Poopy. Yes, and before that, we will be getting winner's finals between Nick and Roadkill Rambo. Okay. The Road Killer. True. CCL Roadkill Rambo was the first person I played an offline bracket for this game. Oh, nice. At KIT in the bracket that he was running, actually. So shout outs, TOs. Shout outs to Roadkill Rambo, a fellow TO. He's also running a bunch a of other brackets for their scene. A brother in trauma. <laughs> And the struggle that is dealing with people sometimes. Yep. I wonder how many of the Rambo movies Roadkill Rambo has seen. <laughs> There's five of those. Are there? I Most am of them not are... a movie person. I had no idea. Most of them are fucking terrible. <laughs> uh, the first one's good. The second one's bad, but like in a fun way. The third one's really, really stupid. Uh, if you've ever seen the fucking... This film is dedicated to the brave Mujahideen fighters of Afghanistan meme. That comes from that movie. Incredible. I had no idea. I don't, I, I don't, I don't recognize the meme either, to be honest. And uh, I actually kind of liked Rambo 4. I'll defend that movie a little. Uh, Rambo 5 is dog shit, though. Mm, okay. yeah. I think there's been conversation making a sixth one, too, even though... Stallone is like 200 years old now. I got a lot of people, or old people, still doing movies now, though. Yep. I am in the sinking process. And we've got Rambo once again on his keyline CL. Nick is presenting the main now. Looks like it. Are you good? I'm good. I'm good. Cool. We will be going. Proper name start this time. And yeah, we're we're going with the white lion. And we're opening the scramble now. Just getting started. White lion in the corner. The mix. She's gonna do blocks the double overhead. That's us. I think it's zero. I forget if it's like plus one or zero in any case. You're dealing with a character with a frame 4 2A. 
I a player that probably has better execution than you because they're playing C White Button and you're playing CCL. True. Okay, we've got a very exciting character. And wow, I did not expect that to not get hit by actually that might have been fake DP. She might have done the fake 2 2 1 in response to the bit of cover above in case there was a left right. Nope, that's heat safe. If you're on the verge of death. Gotta mind your health still. Getting heat off does not mean you will not die. True. Yeah, so so do we have the timing though? That's air unblockable. Do you want to do a brief air stall into an air match? You can still get a counter to jump and punish. And the oh. fake DP into DP. It's okay, that's so how we're feeling tonight. <laughs> Tempered Roadkill Rambo a bit. Time to put our hands on him. What's the mix now? That first ice, ice, and ice. ice strike throw. Nick takes game one. This will be first to three as well as it is winner's finals. Or kill Rambo, corner yourself a bit, but we're practically cornering Nick now because we move forward like two steps in Melty Blood. Rather far air throw, but doesn't get punished. That costs a lot of frames, but Or kill Rambo respects it. Not confirming it. Dash canceling to try and get another hit. Yeah, guard bar looks pretty rough. Oh, well, now you get to get some guard bar back. Yeah, we just missed off. Doesn't get a punish though. I like the use of the high keys though to catch the basketball toss. Yep. High hitting projectile. Teleports out. It's hard to keep a general place where you can intercept and escape attempts there. Off of me, leads him to an anti air defeat, but it works out well. Either dump will kill here. God, that was so much damage, too. Definitely. On a fucking end of hell of guts bracket. It was 5 C started. I think that was 5C plus ice. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. Unless you're playing like a really crappy character, projectiles tend to be pretty good starters. <laughs> Throw. You can't burst this, and you're dead. The way the ice cuts is like really short too. Yeah, nice and tacks on a pretty nice amount of damage. True. White one tends to not put out too much damage off most of her hits, but a lot of her stray hits of the sort that you would expect to go into much from other characters do do deceptively decent damage. There are just times when all of a sudden you're actually getting hit. Like, throw plus ice does more damage than most other throw combos. And she has other, like, weird hits that you'd expect to just do fuck all. Unfortunately, I'm still off the single hit to go Early avoids the guard creep. Crosses up the DP. So we kill Rambo just to max two. We're just going into heat from full screen, okay? But I've gotten through all of the speeds and into a free Hyro, he's in max, but... So we get to consider our offense over here instead. Also, didn't see we were ready for 5B to hit crouching there. See, all 5B is one of the few moves in this game that sweeps crouchers and hits normally on standards. It's like seeing an H and arrow, 5B, and... CNH Akia, 5B. Oh, uh, you have to jump to... over, but we, we get another Nail. chance anyway! <laughs> yeah, that move is so committal. Yeah. The opponents in the air. You often, like, air dash button, air dash button in if you fall on them too, because it's counter to stay. One more hit. That's still... 
say not that. Not work mashing. Yeah. I've always been told all the best thing to do is to try and shield. Yeah, shield that, you should or if you have like some mind's eye reaction shit, you can mash it. It's not that fine side. It's a pretty slow move. True. Spending meter again. Redfield does have a lot, but it does not want to get anywhere near that heat box. And Roadkill Rambo's just gonna five on wake up, just giving Nick it. the 3 0. And we will be moving back down to the losers now with, I believe, T Bub and Foopy. Yeah, Nick was not fooling around there, just cleaning up that set. Yep. All right, Teeth Bub Foopy. Yeah, White Lin, definitely the kind of character you have to know a bit about before fighting that character. It's really hard to just get around her bag of tricks. Character with a deep bag of tricks. I believe we are getting set up. All right. And we are getting in there. Yeah, F he may I know has been a character that people mentioned, despite how good she's known to be, it's pretty underplayed relative to her strength, but... For yeah, that's a lot of the top tiers in this game. True. I mean, Ciro as well, right? Not that many of them out there right now. F. Vaki. But there will be three F. Himes in the bracket at Frosty. Yep. T-Bub is gonna be there. There's Moko, who's an Undernight player picking up the game. And Ada Basilisk going to be in the bracket as well. A player I've never actually seen play, but I've seen in like VODs from a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty ancient player by this point in the scene's history. Definitely, but it really just goes to show a lot of people are pulling up for the bracket. It's gonna be ridiculously static. You, you should run an exhibition between the three. That'd be hype. If we, I'm, we're looking into seeing if there will be a way for us to run exhibitions. I don't have like a pocket Wi-Fi device or anything to run like anything super legit, but we might go for like a shaky cam exhibition and just see how far hotel Wi-Fi takes us. Uh huh. You can also always just save the replays. True. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to get the replays for whatever is going on in the bracket as well. But yeah, just gonna make sure we get some good matches. Nice. Yeah, if you end up getting some bulls matches as replays, I can like flip them over and help you label players. Sure. Yeah. I'm gonna be That's trying to push them. Awesome. This matchup's pretty horrible for Koma. That's not gonna do anything. <laughs> Trying to do any sort of like to be right above you with Koma. You can you still jump it into Harry's fault depending on what he is doing. Nope, just when you thought he was safe to dash. Half screen low. That's also projectile. Oh no, does his light cancel that? No punish on TP. That's a slight walk out into DP? I respect it. Stone had DP. Nah, that was, was that probably meant to be a dive kick instead. It worked there. He's <laughs> just playing real patient. With nope, punishing with 2A? Nope, just had a lot on head. 
Uh, as the uh, extremely easy time recognizes him, that's <laughs> not a safe dump. Come away, wake up. Valid on DP? <laughs> Whiffing entirely to the coma's slow ass wake up time. Counter hit with the back hit of JC. There goes all of coma's defensive options other than EX Shield. Other side. Take away their mirror. What's the mix now? Same side. This isn't gonna kill, but. One more hit will. <laughs> Goodbye, Goofy, for game one. See Bub closing out the first one with a. <laughs> Other side waits this time. No shield for Spooky just. Looks utterly lost against this character Soki so far. Yeah. It's crazy wait, how wait. no one had a represented shield against oh. MHC, and the first time it happens, he's just ready for it. Yeah, Fu's just like, shit, can I shield here? Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> nice walk out on the knife pick. Punish for that. Halfway to facing off with Nick. <laughs> Facing off. Poopy's not out of it though. Never underestimate the no tech upset master. <laughs> Punishes the five A with the dash two C. Dash two C is looking like a grand blue six six enemy. <laughs> Poopy taking a round once again. And okay, it's just he just not ready to catch the landing. Coming is not across the button. The guys are though. Bro, what's the mix? This is safe jump B, and the toxic charge into Geyser. I should just catch this and doing it here. Beaners here now. Never mind. Oh, just barely nice. Bus, one piece. Yep. Okay. We've chance. got another chance at life. That's plus. The only plus shield counts in the game. All the others are minus four. You're dead. <laughs> GG's. GG's. Plus on block shield counter into win. And Teach Bub takes it. 2 -oh. Yep, making sure to work fast to prevent the foopy factor from kicking in. True, and we'll move on to fight Roadkill Rambo. Yep, I misspoke earlier. For some reason I thought this was Winner's Finals. It's not. Yeah, now it's Winner's great. Finals. I know, t -Bub with two perfects in a row is just winning so hard. Forgot what side of bracket we were in. This will be F Human CCL. CCL, another character that will be yeah, Frosty. This is a matchup we could see, probably from Cop Killer for fun against one of the F Humans. I think one of the sick things about this game, especially for people who may not be as familiar, is like these are both characters that have some semblance of normal tools, right? Like he may sitting there, aside from flight, right? Just has DP funny little things she can check at you and the geysers, but then like the way those tools exist in the ecosystem of Maltese mechanics make them such crazy characters. Like some things, something else that's pretty strong here. If Ram Roadkill Rambo wants to actually like assert himself with his normals, is the strength of Hime's backwalk, especially against CCL. Not really having the best reach on any of her normals. True. Like, her 2B is stubby, her 5B is stubby, A normals are A normals. Her 2C has a lot of recovery without having that much reach to make up for it. 
He has the low dash, which is decent against 5B, but he yeah, doesn't really have to press that much if CL's already grounded. I guess you can alter its trajectory with jump to C in terms of trying to play the part of the ground game a bit. Yeah. Are you good to go? Yep. Oh. I just yeah. say. Stage. Oh, both just go to the top of the screen at round start. Okay. And keep them just and up into the corner. In the corner. Just pops for a knockdown into a simple 2A meaty. Might have just not want to deal with that bullshit as we see now. CCR reversals and Geyser just catching from so far. The double overhead. Uh, you gotta wait until he's actually hitting the ground so he can double overhead you still. After that, hell, she can triple if she wants to fussy. Other side, cheap. Just keeping the 100 bar for the next round. Not to take the meter. <laughs> For a pretty simple pickup, and a little more for a grand string. And speed also dropping, okay. I'm into the air a lot so far. I stash under 2C. I could have covered so many landing spots too, even if you didn't offer that jump 2C. Quick drop from Float off that pillar has been getting everybody today. Find ourselves in the corner now though. Not getting any counter hits, there we go. Keepa just keeps wanting to go out. Kirk Rambo keeps wanting to get a jumpy counter hit instead of a jump A counter hit with a slower commitment. A combo? Yep. Oh, unfortunate. Nope. Want to go for the slightly more ambitious version of the geyser first, but it doesn't matter. Just gets the cleanup anyways. I really like the idea of Team Bub there just waiting for the flip to work and punishing the to stay like a maximum safe distance there. The Yoda conversion is so far is such an asset in this game. Okay, we just wake up shield. Okay. So, fuck it. This does not let this character play, but... Smells plus frames that are capless. DP time. Fucking elbow, okay. This is this gonna kill no. And hits with the low, Rokin Roll Ambo might have been expecting the fuzzy after those two jump in. There's just the main set meter, let's go. You can't tech there unless the game is trying to steal frames. Slight throw into overhead. Keepdub's mix has been so good, I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting killed on most of these. Again, I'm just not lucky against most of them. <laughs> I fought Keepdub a few times and I just like tried mashing shield over 5A or something like that. Nice. I've, I've heard that, that matchup is also pretty bad for Nero. It is. Unfortunate. There, there's not really much point to me trying to block any, like, real mix against them because we're playing in, like, ADMS. I'm like, this is basically ring-wide. I'm just gonna practice my reads and managing the game's buffer. So, guys, are for you this time. This is looking good for Roadkill Rambo so far. It's Kind of simplistic combo game is also hurting him here, though. He's only ever hitting for like 3 to 3.5k. 3. Coupled with TL not having the most impressive offense means that it's really hard for him to maintain momentum. Yeah, and one of his weaknesses is being low health. Like, when you do get your hits, you gotta kill it. Yeah, this character is a pretty good meter abuser when she does get her hits. Oh my god, you fucking degenerate. <laughs> I feel like that's definitely, there's no way he knows more. <laughs> you just charge him in against their kill and just like, they don't know. The mother of Tifa and says, oh, you're abusing my slow bar, right? Some pressure punch. No, I'm gonna DP you. Be gone. 
same side. Oh, there's an option. No. Nice response to the overhead. Dropping shield maybe a little bit too early. We saw t Bob so patient with the shields earlier too. And just shield into guys are such a good option. Oh, I can't even imagine an option like that would be not considered. Nah, 2360 would have worked there, but taking the wrong gamble option, but the Rogue Rambo does take a round. Alright, we're on the board. Angle on, I somehow survived the Heat versus Pillar OG. Just and Teed winning round the round card scramble okay. with the flame seven five A. Just the run up throw. Looking a little scared to jump out now. Another DP finding its mark. I was kind of expecting another one as an ant here there. The patience from Rachel not getting attacked by the random JC. He does have some insurance in case they get hit now, not anymore, just he that to push Rachel Rambo into the corner. And Rachel Rambo just respecting Geyser on block now. And the instant overhead. T Bub fast 3 0. That brings us to grand finals. Yep. Nick Hole versus T Bub. See, the funny thing about not a lot of people playing this character is you could definitely see that people are not ready for the stuff T Bub is pulling out here. Mm hmm. Especially because a lot of other people that have played Hime on and off don't really try making use of all the character has. True, yeah. Like I a mean, lot of just don't really try doing the actual combos into Flight Oki or doing Flight Oki properly. They're just thinking, oh, I'll just do 2C and Geyser and 5B, and that'll be enough. Right, yeah. I mean, or even Flight Oki at all, right? Shit. True. Yeah. Like, some will do the AAD combos and just charge meter afterward instead of going for mix ups. Right. Okay, we've got the Nick IP. They are in. Let's see who is on which side. Yeah, I'm especially with FMA being character with just such good normals to start. Like I feel like it's a character that for a lot of people you can just pick up and play and play around the basics of your kid, right? Mm -hmm. You don't really see people tap into that full potential as much casual player, but Tiba clearly has a lot of this stuff down really well. And people are gonna have to learn, myself included. Mm hmm. I think. We'll see. Getting the white lane against the the winner side with the set to give. But will she give it? And immediately throwing an ice into an optimal geyser spot. And Tiba getting those EX guards on the JT360? Now you have to input shield counter immediately. Moon Shield counter. What's the mix? Yeah. Just, this is right. The right is like, fuck it. I mean, why not, right? I'm prime my DP for my cold, dead hands. But my secret is that they're always cold. Some like white light. So and I need an OS in case I lose. Oh no! The BG staggered. Just trying to reversal out and killer trees! Now you gotta do like a shitty, bad, fake TK to be out of the ice map for that. Not sure if it's a little harder to just do an 
rotate to the air and jump and punch the team maybe to her weird air movements. Stand down the corner. No safe jump though. And we're getting a fake free knockdown out of that, but I guess if they're gonna just hit with your defensive options anyway, give the opponent all the OP they could ask for. And the fake DP into DP! A C White Len classic! <laughs> We're just going away from the next one. <laughs> Self proclaimed homosexual no, character. Yeah. 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 Same difference. They're, they're fighting now, and Nick just quickly getting another round. Yep, halfway to taking the tournament. You know, it's interesting in a matchup like this when you're talking about how white lane. White lane not too much damage on average. You know, against the character with low health, though, you might see it add up a little bit. And just patiently waiting out the shield. Wait, gonna be a good chunk of damage. <laughs> yeah, that still ensures us. Tries pressing something out of tech though to no avail. They're just waiting to a shield. Off of me. Just... Getting close. Just corner pressure, the awesome. run up throw. Maybe it's a little too hard, but 2D pushes out too much for its important hit. Yep. If only we're playing F. <laughs> Run up throw feels very much so reactive, yeah, but it just feels so fast in the moment coming up. Missed the link, but we get a combo anyway. The command respect you make and command of so many other ranges. True, yeah. Like, oh, the mental stack is so bad. Definitely. It's another elbow, but again, it's when they're on low health and they might benefit from holding on to meter to an IH. Nick up 2-0. He's just one more. Oh, Take the bracket. Character select. Are we seeing a swap? We're going back oh, to the no, OG. Nick, oh, Nick, we're going to H. We're not going with yeah. the F? Oh no. H Seed Y. Seed Y. Are okay, we baby? Trade, trade, okay. We're trying to game. Unfortunately, we, we're fucking gaining on a third party GameStop pad. <laughs> that stops working after like two stages worth of subspace and Asarian brawl. Yo, just jumping over the Neko. Those garbage white GameStop GameCube controllers from 2009. That's what we're gaming on. Neko Nick not having the most health either, and not going to like holding this white line mix, and already dead. That was like three touches. Nick on tournament point. Yep. Okay. Caught. Gets a kind of cool combo. Pretty good but amount of damage. Drop again, especially on White Blend Health. This character can randomly do good damage sometimes. Mm. I spray one bunkering, but that doesn't hit meaty here. That is just and that's a god awful reversal, but we get a hit, we bait the heat. Just gets no caught by the reversal, and you're like one touch from that. The fake DP and into DP to close it out! The penis character does not work, and Nick takes it 3-0. Great stuff to all the players today. Thank you so much for watching and playing. Uh, if you're going to be at Frosty Frostings, and you are not in the bracket, register for Frosty. I, last second, I put a command in the chat to pull up the Frosty registration. Start GG slash Vortex Gallery. We've got almost 100 people. If you're going, even if you don't think you're going to do well, 
just push it to 100 people. I will throw extra money into the prize pool if we hit 100 people. To 100 people. Give me more people to see to make Frosty feel bad for not make, having this be a main game anymore. So true. Doomer games. So true. In the name of Type Illumina. Shout out French Bread for like actually keeping attention on the game. You know, because there's some players who are looking at this game because they play Lumina and they looked at current code and they're like, wait, this is better. <laughs> and then they kind of stayed. I remember seeing Fupi play Lumina and now now has definitely been playing a lot of current code. So we're getting more eyes on the game. If you're going to be there, hop in this bracket, please. Thank you for watching, though, and I will see whoever is going to be at Frosty when we are there. And thank you again, Webb, for commentating with me and seeding the, the Frosty bracket as well. My pleasure. And that is going to be it. Bye. Bye.